Okay, peanut is the very first calf to be in our calf barn. Uh, the reason she is in this calf barn is because we are full everywhere else of calves and we need a spot. So in the next few days, we are actually going to be able to start moving everybody else in and Peanut is going to have a whole bunch of company. Um, and what they'll do is they'll roam in there, they'll go get milk whenever they feel like it, there'll be their water whenever they feel like it, there'll be feed whenever they feel like it, they'll have whatever they want. So, in the meantime, Peanut and Bella will get to play around for a while and we'll work at everything else. Good morning. Um, we're mixing feed. And I thought it might be interesting to show this off because it's almost like we're experimenting with a whole bunch of things. We've got two ingredients that we've never really used before the last couple of weeks. Now, I don't know if you remember, in the summertime, we grew something called sedan grass. There's a lot of forage and a lot of feed here. Reed, how many bales did you say we made? Three. Three bales. This is a sedan craft bale. Let's pop it in. This is, of course, the corn silage. It's one thing that hasn't changed. Dry hay. That's another ingredient that hasn't changed. This is one that has changed. Yes, those are carrots. A farmer in the area, uh, the processing plant closed before they took them, so they had a big pile and needed a home for carrots. But we bought them for the price of just the trucking. Feeds three to one to corn, so we can reduce how much corn we feed and put carrots as the energy source instead. We'll give it a try.
And there you have it. That's carrots in the mix. And strand grass in the mix. And what you can see here is like the sedan grass is definitely longer and the carrots are definitely bigger. So the cows can sort, which is basically them chewing at it and kind of spitting out the stuff they don't want to eat. It's big enough that they can actually do that. But with both, they actually seem to like it. The carrots, for sure, they will actually eat. They'll go for the carrots. Um, they'll eat the Sudan grass. We, so we gotta watch to make sure that they're not sorting for just that stuff and missing the rest. But um, with both cases, the carrots in particular, like huh, the price was right. Uh, the Sudan grass, like it, it, it's such a nice feed. And we're finding that the percent of their butter fat is up so high that it's gonna work really well. Like all said and done, I, I think this is making a really nice feed for the cows, even if, like on paper, it's not perfect. Can't complain with the results. Okay, we are to evening chore time. I think it was Chris. I think you asked me in the comments section of one of my last few videos about, like, talk about, you know, how things have maybe changed time-wise. This time of day is where it has changed the most. Like it was three, probably three solid hours for two people, three and a half to four, um, if it was one person doing chores. Now, uh, kids will be out in a little bit. Uh, we can easily get our evening chores if we need to. We can easily get them done within 30 or 45 minutes, especially when I have the kids help. That's the other nice thing is kids can help with nighttime chores now. And we're not in any rush. Hey, would you two be nice? Why, why did you have to push her? That is not a nice thing to do. Are you going to use the robot or not? Got a hockey game on TV. U18 semifinals on today. Anyway, what we got to do is check out the hockey score in a minute. But this is the big thing we're looking for. So uh, we need to know who the fetch cows are. And we need to know if we had any milk failures in the last little while that we have to solve. Um, in case you're wondering, cows milking a day about 41 kilos out of 4.3 fat. Uh, <laughs> That is a big improvement from what we were in the old barn. Cows are doing very, very well in their new home. Um, our fetch cow is Iona583. She did have a failure. Uh, oh, dead milk time, RF. That's the right front quarter. So what we're going to do is we're going to check Iona. It was the only one of the day, so it's probably not the robot. It's probably her. Um, and then the other fetch cow, she's not on the list, but I know she will be if we don't, is the jersey that calved. Um, a couple of days ago, we just put her out into the main group. Um, and because she's in the main group, um, we, I know, oh, speak of the devil. Look at her right there. You see her looking at us? That is the M&M. Anyway, she is clearly quite comfortable in the barn. We'll chase her in. We'll feed her little calf peanut. Um, and the rest of the calves, yeah, we'll putter away at chores. Oh, actually, no, you're going to have to wait. This hockey game's in overtime now. Going to maybe get one of these instead. Okay, so afternoon chores are going to start in the next few minutes instead. Okay. Canada wins. Now flipper to wild card football. Um, okay, afternoon chores, take two. You wanna go get milked? Come on, I know you do. Only catch <laughs> is these bars are actually a touch high for the jerseys. Yes, come on, let's go. So I don't even know if she'll 
<laughs> looking at it, I think she'll go under it. Yeah. Now, you can't go that way. No, no! Hey! Really? Really? Why don't you go in the robot? In the robot. There you go. Oh, there you go. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Come on. You know the way. See, that was easy. Same as always. You just came in the other way. Oh, perfect. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, while well, she's getting started, we're going to check out Iona here. And which quarter was it? I think it was right RF, right front. So. Okay. So we're getting lots of milk. So maybe it was just, maybe it was just the robot. So she's in here now. We'll let the robot give another go. Maybe you just missed it for some unknown reason. Here's our little jersey milking. There, so now that'll work away at heating. And then Bella, can you, when my milk's warm, can you feed peanut? Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, what I probably should have done is actually um, put that milk on first, as the first thing I did. So, shucks. Oh, now I have to wait which means I have to go sit and watch the football game and drink a beer. Uh -oh. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh, wait. that will be peanuts. Why don't you guys go um, do peanuts? Okay. You know, I'm stuck with the dishes. Um, I'll wash all this stuff up. This actually has a wash mode, so I just got to put some water in it to do that. Um, and then, like, honestly, otherwise, the kids did the cow stuff. We both together did the calf stuff. And, uh, yeah, like, that's chores for a night.